All right, so today we're gonna be trying something a little bold, and that is a two-part test here in the Dominican Republic. First is a range test, and I'm not gonna be doing a Billy Kyle because I don't have another team riding in a Tesla where I can deplete the battery to zero percent, but there are some small little islands or small little cliffs like reefs over here by the beach that I'm at. So there are some small reefs or island all the way out there. I don't know if you can see it, um, but we're, what we're gonna be doing is taking the drone out there, the Air 3, and we're gonna be doing a two-part test as I mentioned. So the two-part test that we're gonna be doing today is number one, we're gonna be taking the drone up high. So DJI drones now allow you, the new ones at least, allow you, go, allow you to go up to 3,000 feet. So I'm gonna be testing to see if I can go 3,000 feet um, on the return back from this range test. So the, the range test is gonna be to those little islands that I showed you. And I'm not sure how far the distance is to that. Um, it's not gonna be nothing crazy where you know some people are testing for seven miles and such, but I think it's a little ways out there. And I'm using the DJI RCN2, as I shared in my previous video. And of course, we're gonna be doing this with the Air 3. Now, don't expect any cinematic footage because I'm not, you know, this is, I'm not using an ND filter. I'm keeping the settings on auto. I'm gonna head out there at 100 feet. So nothing cinematic, if you will, just a straight flight there. And as soon as I start the flight, what I'm gonna do is just keep the camera rolling. And I'm not, we'll do some commentary. I'm not going to um, really cut anything up and I'm gonna do a screen record on my phone as well. So um, this might be a lengthy video. I apologize in advance, but if you wanna just jump to the end point of when I go to the, the, the reefs or the islands, whatever that is, I will put that, I'll put the timestamp in the description so you can just navigate to there and you can see the end result. But some people love this range test and since I am in the Dominican Republic, I figured let's just go ahead and do that. Now I know I'm talking way too much, so let's start this range test now. Okay, so the test begins now. I am shooting at 4K60 again. Everything is gonna be strictly automatic. The only thing I'm going to change is just my white balance and of course making it at 4K60. But shutter speed, everything is gonna be automatic. We're gonna be taking off the drone here. And I am screen recording with audio. So here it is. I am at 100% battery. I have 28 sats. And even though I'm at 100% battery, the time limit says zero. And I know this was an issue with the Air 2, I believe. And I think even the Mini 3, I don't know why, but I think eventually it'll catch itself up. Yep, there he goes. Now he's saying that I got 49 minutes of air time. Um, I am gonna be heading out in normal mode and I'm going with the wind. So coming back, I'm going against the wind. So I need to keep that in mind. So let's just go ahead and, and start. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise altitude to 100 feet, I'm gonna go to 100. I'm at 100 now. And I'm kinda gonna be facing the camera sideways because I wanna keep the remote sort of, this is the antenna here, and I wanna keep the remote sort of within line of sight. Um, <clears throat> and I'm getting text messages, notifications, which is one of the reasons why I really, really hate using a phone when flying with the um with any drone doesn't matter if it's the air 3 the mavic 3 the mini it is convenient having this small thing and just compact but just having this is not having um this this phone is just very annoying i much prefer an rc a smart rc let me go in here and change my white balance there you go my uh, white balance was looking very, very off. Um, it was looking like some, some people that I know, which will remain anonymous. Um, well, I think that we might have to try a range test a little differently um, because as you can see, I'm already approaching 
those reefs or those little sandbars down there. I think they're reefs. I'm at 3,000 feet, complete signal, no loss to RC. My iPhone just dimmed, which is making it much harder to see my screen now. Another reason why I hate flying with a phone, but this might just be an iPhone thing. So I'll tell you until we reach this um, location over here. I tell you yesterday, I was flying that way towards my right. And as you can see, there is like a cliff. And besides those cliffs, on the other side of those cliffs, there are, um, there's another beach. And flying the Air 3 to the opposite side, I was losing signal extremely quickly. And that was only about 3,000 feet. Now, I think the only reason why I was losing signal is obviously because of obstruction, right? You can have the best uh, transmission system possible, but when you have an obstacle between yourself and, and the drone, it's just, it's not gonna work as well. So it doesn't matter if it's OcuSync 4 or OcuSync 6. Um, that's where I think LTE 5G cellular service will be fantastic at having it on, on a drone. So I apologize for some of this blabbing. I don't do a really good job commentary as, as uh, Billy Kyle does. I mean, Billy's a machine when doing these things, man. I think he probably even scripts his whole range test um, segment of exactly what he's gonna be saying and everything. So I'm at 7,000 feet, which is not bad. So 7,000 feet at 100 feet in altitude and I've lost one bar but if I switch and I turn and I give you my back and I face the drone does it get better no I still got I'm still with oh there you go so now I have full bars I am going to actually I was gonna pan right but let me go ahead let me see if I switch here let me go ahead and reach the one on the left and see yeah, these are like coral reefs. Oh, so the drone just stuttered there for a second, my video transmission. Usually I think that happens when your drone switches from like 5.8 to 2.4 gigahertz. I think that's when you see that, that quick um, glitch. So I am at, let's just get it to 10,000 feet. So I'm at 10,000 feet, approaching 10,000 feet at 100 feet altitude and I still have complete full bars. There you go. I'm gonna stop here, guys, because keep, you know, going straight is kind of pointless. So here is the 10,000 feet mark at those reefs that I, you know, noticed from all the way from the shore here. And as you can see from the drone video, the shore is all the way out here, 10,000 feet, and my signal is strong. Now, what if I completely face opposite now I have myself, my body mass against the drone, and I dropped two bar. I dropped one bar. I dropped only one bar. So AccuSync 4, in a nutshell, AccuSync 4 is very, very impressive as long as you don't have any obstruction. And I think that doing these range tests from you know in in today's time is kind of silly because obviously in the United States, we have regulations where you have to keep the drone line of sight. And even here, we can keep the drone line of sight because I have my wife here and she can still see it, right, honey? Yes. Right? Yes. Scream it louder. Yes. There you go. So for those that think that I am lying, she's here. And do you see the drone? Yes, I do. Oh, she said, yes, I do. So, um, I think, you know, these range tests are sort of silly because you can, so I think these range tests are sort of silly because, I mean, you have to keep your drone within line of sight and, um, you know, what's more important to me is signal penetration. Now, I will tell you the Air 3 back home in New York City performs exactly like my Mavic 3 Pro with my RC Pro. Uh, the same areas that I'm seeing issues where I'm disconnecting or getting horrible video transmission with my Mavic 3 Pro 
the Mini is doing the same. And not the Mini, I'm sorry, the Air 3. I'm getting all these drones confused. I own too many drones. But I'm getting the Air, I'm getting the same transmission, the same breakup with the Air 3. So, you know, I have not seen the benefits of OcuSync 4 in New York City. Not from a, a range test perspective, but from a, you know, penetration perspective. Now, I've been recording now for how long on my camera? This is going to determine how long this video is going to be. Eight minutes, so not bad, not bad. My best videos perform at, at 20 minutes. Now what we're going to do is, so I think you guys got enough of this little reef, right? We went 10,000. Now what we're going to do is we're going to head back to shore, back towards us, and... We're also gonna be increasing our altitude, but I'm gonna stay at 400 just until I get a little closer because I am going coming against the wind. So the higher I go, the higher I go, the stronger the wind is, right? So I'm gonna lose speed there. So I'm coming back at 26 miles per hour. I can definitely kick it into sports mode. Let's just do go ahead and do that. Sports is getting me up to 40 miles per hour, 42, 43. One thing I can say is that this drone is nimble. I mean, the ascent speed, the descent speed, the drone is very fast. 47 miles per hour I'm getting. 47 miles per hour. That's amazing. I just slowed down to 44. Uh, but yes, drone, the, the speed of this drone is just amazing. It flies so fast. Holy shit, guys. Holy shit. I never, ever did a uh, recording. I never recorded on the drone. So I just recorded on the drone, as you saw. So all you're gonna see is, and I hope I am screen recording. I'm not even screen recording. Don't tell me I'm not screen recording. Oh, I am screen recording. I was nervous there for a second. I thought I wasn't even screen recording. This is why you gotta leave these to the professionals, such as Billy Kyle. That kid will never mess up. And if he does mess up, he's going to cut the video five times. He's going to redo it 10 times. He's going to rewrite his script 15 times. And he will get his story to the point and to perfection. And, uh, you know, while we're here, let's go ahead and plug in our sponsor of today's video. And let me go ahead and do the, the right, the, let me do it the right way. What's going on, guys? This is Eddie here. And today I'm going to be flying the DJI Air 3. We're going to be doing a range test not in my Tesla, but over the beach. And I wanna thank DroneWorks for sending me the Air 3 and allowing me to test it out. So before you go ahead and move on to the next video, please make sure that you hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notified when I release my next video. Until then, we will be continuing flying. I, I messed this up so bad. All right, so I'm at a thousand feet away from us. I am over here. Right there at the center point is where I am at. And now what we're going to be doing now is let's get a little bit closer to the shore. We're going to be going, we're going to be doing our ascend. We're going to be ascending here. Now, I spoke to Jake Sloan recently on the live stream and Jake has had success flying the drone at 3,000 feet. And I have not. I have not. And it's pretty weird. So you see max altitude, I'm at 1640. I'm going to slide it. So 3,280 is the, is the maximum you can fly, fly now. But I think that all has to do with airspace. So I believe in, in this airspace I am. Let's actually give you a better view. I think in this airspace, I am limited to 1,600 feet. But I know that you can, oh, I'm going forward, I'm an idiot. I know, I know that you can unlock through DJI, strong winds warning, strong winds. I know that you can unlock through DJI, so I haven't unlocked here. This is just, you know, standard. So a standard normal flight, and I'm at 1,400 feet, quickly climbing, quickly, quickly climbing, strong wind warning.
maximum altitude reach 1640. So even though I hit the slider to 3,280, can't go higher than 1640. Well, I think that concludes our video. I have yet to be successful with um, this feature of flying the drone to 3,000 feet. Um, always wanted to test that out. Obviously not in the United States. Well, certain parts of the United States where I, I am near, you know, any mountains, for example. Um, but here in Dominican Republic, this was not a smart move. So the drone is coming down from its altitude of a thousand feet. That pretty much concludes my video. Let's see. I made so many mistakes here, but uh, on this video, but I appreciate you guys watching 14 minutes. So this is probably going to be a 16 to 18 minute video. Hope you enjoyed this quick range test. Let me know what questions you have. For those that just skimmed through all the way forward, still, I appreciate you guys for checking in. I don't expect anyone to watch such a lengthy video, but um, let me go ahead and land this drone. And until next time, guys, peace. I can't take no loss. Huh? I don't even know what it costs. Huh? I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, I can't take no loss. Yeah, I don't even know what it costs.